ball to the air on first and ten. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Washington. What's going on, guys, and welcome back for another Madden 23 Commanders franchise gameplay. For those of you who are new to the channel, man, go ahead and do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays here on the channel, and I would hate to see you guys miss out on a single episode. But for those of you who have been following this Commanders franchise for a while now, we are now in week number five, getting ready to take on the Tennessee Titans. And you're probably wondering what happened on week number four and week number three. So to give you guys a quick rundown, my mother and my sister were in a car accident. Uh, they are okay, by the way. They, that happened right in the middle of the Philadelphia Eagles game, so I immediately stopped and was like, I gotta go take care of my family. So gave that guy a force win. Um, then the Cowboys game was Thanksgiving, and after everything that happened with the car accident, I was planning on taking my Xbox, but I was just like, nah, man, forget that. I'm just gonna be in the moment with my family. So ended up taking a couple losses there. We are now one and three on the season. Looking to bounce back here up against the Tennessee Titans, who are very talented, but these Washington Commanders are just as talented, if not more. Let's go ahead and get to the field and see what we can do to slow them down. We are just inside the beltway. We are live from Landover, Maryland, and the 2-2 two two Tennessee Titans are in town ready to match up with the 1-3 Washington Commanders. This game is going to be probably the biggest test for the Washington Commanders defense, who I definitely think is one of the best in the league, going up against one of the best running backs in Derrick Henry, but that matchup is going to have to wait just one moment as the Washington Commanders are going to be starting things off with the ball from the 25-yard line. Quick throw in the flats here. Sam Howell ends up completing that pass to Antonio Gibson, who has nothing but green grass in front of him. Caleb Farley's trying to chase him down. Gibson at the five. Hurdles over Farley into the end zone. 75-yard touchdown reception for Antonio Gibson to start this game off. And the kick here by Joey Sly is up and good. Ten seconds into this game and the Washington Commanders already now have a seven-point lead. Getting the defense on the field and here's the matchup that we were waiting for. Derrick Henry versus defensive line of the Washington Commanders who in week number one up against Travis Etienne they were just out of this world, man. They were just straight up ridiculous. So let's see what we do up against, I guess, one of the league's leading rushers and Derrick Henry starting things off by breaking the tackle there of Cole Holcomb, getting it all the way up to the 33-yard line for a gain of seven yards. Getting down to three here, Tannehill back to throw, feeling a little bit of pressure. Has a man wide open, though. It's his rookie tight end, Okwankwu, ends up getting the reception all the way up to the 43-yard line, gain of 24 yards on the play. It's now first down yet again for the Titans, and then right back to the run game here with Derrick Henry, who has the first down and a whole lot more, but luckily he's brought down before he's able to do too much more damage. First down here, Tannehill looking, firing for Robert Woods, who ends up burning Bobby McCain in the man-to-man -man coverage. Gets into the end zone, and the Titans have tied the game up. Oh, man, Bobby, Bobby McCain. I mean, I read the play perfectly. Just Bobby is just one. He's a little bit short on the short end. Bobby is only like five foot nine. And then Madden-wise... Bobby McCain is just too big on slow, man. Like, he just does not have enough speed to catch up with Robert Woods on those corner routes, even though I felt like I read it perfectly. Now our offense back on the field here, first down and 10. Man in motion is Terry McLaurin. Needs a block there from the rookie, Jahan Dotson. He gets it, allows him to pick up that first down as he gets all the way to the 38-yard line. First down and 10 here, shotgun formation yet again. Quick throw in the flats, looking for McLaurin, and oh, Imani Hooker steps in front of that one. And with nobody in sight, Hooker is going to have no problem getting this one into the end zone. Not only an interception to his name, but also giving the Titans the lead early in the first quarter. And, oh, man, just a horrible read there by Sam Howe or by, by myself. I mean, it, that was just one of those moments where you think you saw something or you like, hoping that something's going to happen, but what you're hoping happens did not happen at all. And in return to something terrible that happens. Hence, we threw the pick six. Now we're trying to dig ourselves out of this early first quarter hole. We go right back to the run game here with Antonio Gibson, but the Titans run defense was ready for him. Second down and 10 here, Howell back to throw. Howell has a man open. That's Terry McLaurin wide open there on the corner route. Gets this one all the way across the midfield, marked to the 39 yard line. First down and 10, Howell looking to throw one more time. Has a man open as Curtis Samuels. Blown coverage there by the T Tennessee Titans. Just allowed for Curtis Samuels just to run free down the middle of the field, and Sam Howell had no problem delivering a dot there, tying this game up here at 14 apiece as there is a flag there. Joey Sly was hit as he tried to kick that field goal. We will gladly accept that, and we'll do a little sky kick here, see if we can get a little bit cheesy here on the kick return. It's going to be returning here by Cannon, and a decent return gets it up to the 18-yard line. No big hit. That's exactly what I was hoping for. First down and 10, right back to Derrick Henry, and Montez Sweat is able to meet him at the line of scrimmage 
advantage, but Derrick Henry is just a freaking load, dude. Ends up carrying Montez Sweat for, for a gain of three yards. And, oh, man, Okonkwo is wide open down the middle of the field here. Oh, into the end zone. Okonkwu, and that was just a horribly blown coverage by myself. Just bad users there with Cameron Curl. And I mean, <laughs> I don't. I wasn't expecting him to streak the tight end. I don't see too many people streak the tight end when you have two high safeties. But hey, shout out to this guy for doing the unexpected and getting success. I just got to play better, trying to knock off a little bit of rust. I guess I have without not playing Madden for a couple weeks here. First down and ten. Handoff goes to Antonio Gibson. Turns that into a nice gain of nine yards on the play. Kyle looking to throw here on first down. Ends up finding his running back out of the backfield. It's Antonio Gibson yet again, who's just been affecting the game on the ground a little bit but really through the air first down and 10 looking to throw one more time but finding a different target this time is Logan Thomas getting his first reception of the day going for a gain of five yards it's now second down and five from the 38 yard line going right back to the running attack looked like Antonio Gibson might have had something in there for a minute but great pursuit there by the Titans defense able to stop him at the line of scrimmage for nothing gained at all we go hurry up offense here on third down and five how looking has a man open is Gibson but he doesn't see him this time Rolling out of the pocket, now throwing late for Gibson, and oh man, are we lucky to get away with the interception there, but we're going to have to call on our kickers, Joey Sly from 54 yards out, should have no problem at all, and he doesn't. Joey Sly nails that one through the uprights, but man, did we miss out on a touchdown. Antonio Gibson on that wheel route was wide open. I don't know why I didn't see him there in the moment. I mean, I was hitting Gibson the entire drive there, but for whatever reason, that, oh, that last play, I just didn't look his way for whatever reason. Now first down and 10, needing a stop here from our defense to get the ball back for our offense, who's down four points. And we do a great job there slowing down the power rushing of Derrick Henry, stopping him for just a gain of three yards on the play. It's Watkins here on the re receiver reverse. Ends up picking up the rest of the yardage needed and a whole lot more as he's almost thrown down at the 30-yard line, just three yards shy. Uh, shy. And that's going to end the first quarter with the Titans having their four-point lead. A lot of points scored in this one early as the Titans start things off here in the second quarter with the Derrick Henry run. Five rushes for 31 yards. Not horrible for him, but that's horrible for the Titans as Ryan Tannehill goes down. Mayo coming off the edge, getting on him for a huge sack. Now the commander's defense with a chance to get off the field here on third down and 13. And Tannehill ends up completing that pass in the middle of the field to Okonku yet again, who is just carving up this Washington commander's defense. Nobody seems to be able to guard this man one-on-one. -on -one. Derek Henry gets the carry here on first down and 10. And... What a surprising open field tackle there by Bobby McCain. The guy who I just was talking about how small he is ends up tackling Derrick Henry in the open field. Just let that one sink in. Third down here yet again. The Washington defense looking to get off the field. Willis back to throw here looking for Okaku. No, that's Robert Woods making the catch there. Oh, a little bit of a two-quarterback system here by the Tennessee Titans. You see Willis is in there right now. First down and 10 here inside the red zone. Handoff goes to Derrick Henry. And, oh, he runs right into Mathis, who does not allow him to pass. Stops him right at the line of scrimmage. It's now second down and 10. Uh-oh, looks like a little bit of a Philly special here. Derrick Henry tosses this one to Robert Woods. Woods doesn't know where to throw this ball. Ends up getting sacked there. I believe that was Jonathan Allen getting him for a huge loss on the play. Third down and 20 yet again. Another chance to get off the field he's going for Trey Burks into triple coverage and somehow that pass is not intercepted but it does fall incomplete we end up holding the Titans to a field goal which was curving for a moment moment there but things end up straightening out the Titans extend their lead right back up to a touchdown I mean I guess that's not the worst thing that could have happened but so many third down opportunities to get off the field and even cause a turnover and our defense just could not do it. Those are the types of plays that we need to start making. That's going to be the difference between us winning a lot more games and us losing a lot closer games. First down, we start things off with a handoff there to Antonio Gibson, which goes nowhere. So we go hurry up offense here. Second down to 10 from the 26-yard line. Sam Howell looks like he is going to remain under center. We're going to try to get one more snap off here before the two-minute warning hits. Let's see if we can get one good play off and then get that two-minute warning to stop the clock and then come back and regroup. Second down snap is away. Howell back to throw. Howell ends up finding Logan Thomas there on a nice wheel route on the sideline. Makes a nice catch. Stays inbounds. Two-minute warning hits. 
for, from the 41 yard line. How back to throw one more time. Feeling a little bit of pressure. Looking for Jahan Dotson, and that ball was late. Sam Howe, you cannot throw the ball late on that the short side of the field. The cornerback stepped in front of that one with ease, and the Titans now have the ball once again with a chance to put more points up on the board before halftime. Second down to four here from the 45-yard line. Handoff goes to Derrick Henry. Patient running there by Henry ends up getting it across midfield to the opposite 45-yard line before he's brought down. First down to 10. Tannehill back in the running uh, the quarterback position. Hands it off to his running back, Derrick Henry, who stopped at the line of scrimmage by Montez Sweat chasing him down there. Second down and 10, under a minute left. Quick throw here, ends up finding Okonkwo yet again, who by now I'm pretty sure he's well over 100 yards receiving, and the Titans are gonna go ahead and call their first timeout there in, at the 20 yard line with two timeouts remaining. Tannehill back to throw, has a beautiful pocket. Going to the end zone, that one's gonna be intercepted by Kyle Fuller. Fuller's off on the return, ends up getting this ball up to the 10 yard line before he's brought down, and Kyle Fuller just had his rookie quarterbacks back there he threw an interception he got one right back allowing him the chance to go and try to create a little bit more magic before the halftime break and you know we're going to go to Terry McLaurin for that magic as he gets this one all the way up to the 47 yard line we still have three timeouts 25 seconds there's still a slim chance for us to get something happening here going for Jahan Dotson in traffic that one's going to fall incomplete second down and 10 with 21 seconds left here on the clock and we still have all three timeouts so the whole field is up for grabs. We don't have to force anything downfield into traffic, and we just got to come up with catches here as Logan Thomas drops one in traffic. Of all people to catch the ball in traffic, you would think that our big tight end, Logan Thomas, would be able to do it, but he ends up dropping that one. Third down and 10 to Terry McLaurin. That one's going to be a completion all the way down to the 33-yard line. There goes our first timeout. First down and 10. We are now in field goal range. Sam Howe, just protect this ball, man. Don't do anything crazy. Filling the pressure there and oh that forces the rookie into a terrible throw that one's going to be intercepted by Harold Landry and there go the three points that we had on the board already Tannehill's just going to throw one throw up a prayer here to Okonkwo and oh my gosh he answered the prayer luckily there's no time left on the clock so the Titans couldn't Call timeout to get a field goal there late. That would have just been horrible. So but the fact that that actually worked, I'm just shocked, coming, appalled, and just completely disgusted with my secondary at this point. So uh, we had, we're going to make some adjustments to our defensive secondary here to start off the second half. Uh, we did normally have Bobby McCain starting back there and Cameron Curl. Not any longer. You see Percy Butler is going to be starting back there at our free safety as Derrick Henry goes nowhere for the moment but still somehow breaks a bunch of tackles and stumbles forward for a gain of six yards. But, yeah, per Percy Butler is going to be our starting free safety and our starting strong safety is going to be Derrick Forrester as you see him on the field. I just I need faster guys out there to, uh, to guard Okonkwo. I mean, he's got 88 speed just like Cameron Curl, but he just completely blew past Cameron Curl like he was standing in wet cement. So now our defense held strong. Fourth down and two. We end up um, forcing the Titans into a punt. And this is exactly what we need. These are the types of halftime adjustments you, you make, especially when you don't start off with the ball in the second half. You, your defense needs to come out, get a stop, get the ball back to the offense. And our offense now just needs to put this ball in the end zone. Handoff goes on first down backwards to Antonio Gibson. Ends up losing a yard on the play. Second down and 11. We're going to keep it on the ground one more time. Gibson's able to find a lot of rushing room this time. Time, has the first down as he's knocked down at the knees by Amani Hooker at the 39 yard line, but not before he picks up that first down. First down and 10. How back to throw. How throwing off of his back foot looking for Logan Thomas, and that ball luckily falls incomplete. Second down and 10 from the 39 yard line. Man in motion is Terry McLaurin. Fakes the jet sweep to him, ends up handing the ball off to Antonio Gibson, and he ends up getting a nice gain of two yards on the play. Third down and an eight. We need a big play here for our offense. Ends up finding Antonio Gibson there in the flats, but that is not going to be enough for a first down. Gain three. We need it five more, and Tressway is going to have to punt this one away and hold up. Hold up. Oh, Tressway just barely, probably just like a couple yards, if that almost uh, end up sealing the deal there. Coughing court and punting, and oh, 
Derek Forrester, look at that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We needed faster safeties back there. Derek Forrester almost came away with the interception there on Okaku. Handoff here on second down of 10. Goes to Derek Forrest. I mean, Derek Hunt Henry, not Derek Forrest. Ends up going backwards. Third down and 13 from the 17-yard line. Tannehill looking to throw. And here comes Montez Sweat. Burying him in the backfield. Gets his first sack of the day. And the defense has shown up. And they're ready to play now. That's back-to-back -back stops by this unit. Getting the ball right back to Sam Howell and this offense who have got to start to figure things out now, man. We got to figure out a way to move this ball and put points up on the board, and this is going to help here. Nice return there by Bobby McCain. Almost gets us up to the midfield mark. We're only probably about 20, 25 yards out of field goal range, but you know we want to get into the end zone as Gibson gets the carry there all the way down to the 45 yard line. Gets us to a second down and three situation. Hurry up offense here for Sam Howe. Shotgun formation snaps away. Has time to scan. Ends up finding Gibson out of the backfield. Gibson's able to get this one all the way down inside the 30 to the 28 yard line all right we are now in field goal range but again we want touchdowns man just it's just a touchdown game we're going for the end zone right here and oh man curtis samuels unable to make a play on the ball and that's going to be intercepted by christian fulton and oh man just when things start to look up in our way we look like we had a chance to at least leave with three points and we leave with nothing because of the interception thrown there by sam howe we're putting a lot of pressure on our defense to get another stop here. It's a third quarter with three seconds left. Snaps away by Malik Willis. Going deep downfield for Okonkwu, and he's got him. Oh, Okonkwu throwing commanders off of him like ragdolls. Gets this one all the way up to the 47-yard line, and that's going to be how the third quarter ends. Man, this is this is kind of how I expected things to go. I wanted us to pitch the second half sh uh, shutout, and so far our defense has done that. But our offense... They've just completely gone stagnant. Like, nothing we're doing on offense is working at all. I mean, the defense can get us stops, but can they get us points as well? I don't know. But it is third down to five, another opportunity for our defense to get off the field. Luke Willis is under a little bit of pressure. Ends up finding a wide receiver as Robert Woods makes the grab, gets all the way down to the 34-yard line for another Titans first down. Oh, a missed opportunity there by our defense. We were in the man-to-man -man coverage, but Robert Woods just completely torched his, uh, his matchup there. Second down to seven from the 31-yard line after the run by Derrick Henry. Uh, Tannehill back there in the quarterback position. Ends up checking this one down. Down to Henry in the flats. Gets a nice gain of about three yards to the 28-yard line. Another third down situation here for the Washington Commanders defense. Looking to get off the field. Throw into traffic. Oh, my goodness. Watkins just completely mossed Mayo, who was in beautiful coverage right there. I don't know what better position he could have been in. Just... That's just Madden, man. <laughs> I mean, just not allowing linebackers to jump at all. Like, Mayo was in perfect position. Like, if that was a safety or something... I definitely think that would have been either an incompletion or should have been an interception, honestly. Third down to eight here. Tannehill back to throw. Going for the end zone and another interception drop there. I argue offensive pass interference on that one because I think that was Fuller who had the right to that ball and whatever receiver that was just straight up tackled my guy. They're like, come on now, ref, throw the OPI. But now the Titans have a 10-point lead and Sam Howell and this Washington Commanders defense is feeling a little bit more pressure now. We're approaching the two-minute warning. We definitely need to get points going on this drive immediately. We cannot have another situation where we're punting the ball, but how starting things off nice as he ends up connecting with Logan Thomas across the middle up to the 43-yard line for our first down. Hurry up offense because we are in a rush situation here. How looking for Scary Terry, but overthrows him by about six yards on that deep post route. Leads to a second down and 10 here with two minutes and three seconds left. Two-minute warning hitting here, and Sam Howell gets hit as he released that ball. That one's going to fall incomplete. This is a do-or-die situation here. It's third down and 10. Howell back to throw. Looking for Terry. He's got him on the sideline. First down. Is he out of bounds? Yes, saving our three timeouts. And this is where we're in a bit of a situation where we have to start thinking about the clock. Do we go ahead and kick the field goal now and then just get the ball right back to the tights and hope our defense can come away with another stop? With our three timeouts, we don't have the two-minute warning to work with anymore. Howell still throwing, going for the end zone. Luckily, that one was not intercepted. Third down and 10 here. Big situation here for Sam how he's escaping the pocket does right throwing one up there for logan thomas in the end zone and he's got him logan thomas comes down with that one with harold landry in coverage big play there by the washington commanders this one's going to make it a three-point game as they kick by joey sly is up and good 
All right. Beautiful situation here for our team. Our defense just needs to get a stop. We have all three of our timeouts, so as long as our defense is able to come away with the stop like they had been so far in the second half, I mean, everything will be good. First down and 10 here from Malik Willis with Derrick Henry in the backfield. Play action fake here. Malik Willis in trouble. Hit as he released that ball, and oh, it was almost intercepted by Jonathan Allen. Second down and 10 here from the 21 yard line. Tannehill back to throw, in trouble. Hit as he released the ball. That one's gonna fall incomplete. The commanders have not had to use any of their timeouts. Third down and 10, Tannehill in the backfield and the shotgun formation. Back to throw, the pressure's coming through. Here comes Montez Sweat, hitting him as he released that ball. And oh man, this is the best situation you could have asked for. I don't know why the Titans did not decide to run the ball at all and force the commanders to use their timeouts, but hey, I'm all for it as Deami Brown, or John Dotson, I mean, is on the return here, gets his ball up to the 34-yard line. First down and 10 here for Sam Howe. He has nothing but time. He's back to throw, looking, scanning, scanning, going deep for Curtis Samuels, and that one's gonna be intercepted by Monty Hooker. Hooker steps in front of Curtis Samuels and gets this return all the way down to the 40, yeah, 43 yard line. And oh man, an untimely interception there by Sam Howell. I just did not see anybody open. I believe I have my check down, my running back in the flats, but ah, just terrible situation here. But again, we have all three timeouts. Can our defense do it again one more time for us? We're putting a lot of pressure on their back, but they're coming through in the clutch. It's now third down to 16 from the 49 yard line. Malik Willis is on the quarterback keeper, keeps it himself. He has nothing but green grass in front of him. He's at the 20, 15, 10, five, doors shut, sealed. That is the ball game right there. There, Malik Willis with ice in his veins just took that one, what, 51 yards into the end zone on the quarterback keeper. And man, I mean, I don't put this loss on our defense. I honestly put this on our offense. Our offense just could not move the ball at all in the second half. We had two great stops by our defense to start the third quarter off, and we just could not do anything. Now, this is just basically a desperation situation here. Powell back to throw, looking for Curtis Samuels again, and just like his last two passes, Sam Howell has intercepted for a third time in his row. His last three passes have all ended in interceptions. So, yeah, this one was definitely on the arm of Sam Howell, just unable to get the ball where it needs to be. And just our offense just unable to move the ball when we needed it the most. So, it is what it is. We end up dropping this one, unfortunately. So, we'll drop down to one and four on the season. Um, so, next game will be up against the Chicago Bears. Hopefully, we're able to bounce back against them. Hopefully, Sam Howe does not throw as many interceptions as he did this game. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more Washington Commanders franchise gameplays. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. So for the Titans, they moved back over 500 at 3-2 now.